Hello, I'm Adam Barrelay and welcome to this Crystal Connections video where we're exploring the essential oil of citronella. Citronella is a perennial grass which grows in Asia. And now when you think of citronella, you're probably thinking of those cheap candles that you buy from the hardware store to help repel insects. Well, I want to show you in this video that citronella is far more than that. And the aroma, which is nice and lemony and crisp, is far better when you get with a high quality essential oil rather than those crappy old candles and that type of thing. Citronella is not just good for repelling insects and mosquitoes, but it's great for a whole range of different things. That is what we're going to explore in this video, how you can work with citronella to benefit the body, but also to benefit the mind, the emotions and the mental well-being, as well as how we can work with this uh, beautiful essential oil on a spiritual level as well. So stay tuned and let's take a deep dive into citronella essential oil. Okay, so first of all, citronella is really good at repelling insects, especially mosquitoes. So if you're outside, pop it in an outdoor diffuser or mix it with a carrier oil and anoint it on your body and it'll help to stop you getting bitten by those nasty insects. However, it is great for a whole range of other things as well. Citronella is actually really good for our digestive support. So if you've had a, you know, a bit of a big meal and especially curries and you're feeling a bit kind of, oh, that was a bit too much, or if you've gone out on the weekend or even on a weeknight and had a big night and overindulged, maybe partied a bit too hard, whether that be food, drink or anything else, then citronella is really good at helping to soothe the body back down, cleanse it and get it back into balance. So what you can do is you can mix it again with that carry oil and rub it in a clockwise direction over the belly and even putting a little bit on your feet as you go to bed at night can be really supportive. Now, sometimes you get a little bit achy. Maybe you've been partying too hard or just from something else as well. Citronella is great massaged into those achy key areas, especially post-surgery. Absolutely amazing for that. Another way you can use it, if you tend to get really greasy hair, try mixing a bit of citronella in with your shampoo and your conditioner, and it will actually help to bring that back so you've got healthy um, looking hair and really vibrant hair again. So citronella, whole bunch of ways to support the body to get rid of when you've overdone it, get rid of what's no longer serving you, and help you bring everything back into balance exactly how it should be. Just as citronella helps the body to get rid of what's not serving us and help us to feel our normal selves again, it's really good on the mental and emotional level to do the same thing. Maybe you're feeling a bit overwhelmed at the moment. Citronella is great for that. Or maybe something's happened recently and you're feeling a bit bitter or resentful. By anointing this beautiful essential oil all over the heart, it really helps you to stop being so serious and to lighten up a bit more, to find the joy in things. If you are feeling overwhelmed, citronella helps you to put things in perspective and also helps you to delegate so you can ask for help from other people or allocate where other people should be helping you out when you are doing too much. It really is good leveler at helping to even up too you know, uh, too many responsibilities on one person and it not being shared equally amongst a family, a working group, or whatever that may be. Another cool thing about uh, citronella is if it can really help to even up your relationship with food. A lot of people don't eat food simply for the nutritious value. There is some type of emotional issue with that. And citronella can be worked with to actually level out your appetite for food again so that it is a normal appetite and that you're actually eating for, to actually honour that physical body and not for other reasons. In fact, not only does citronella help with your appetite for food, but it helps with your appetite for life, as it helps to get rid of that overwhelm, that feeling of being overstressed or being too serious or being angry or whatever that may be. It'll actually help you to get really enthusiastic about life again. It's a cleanser, and as we clear away and get rid of all the clutter, we start to see the direct path forward. We know what we can get excited about again, and it really ignites our passion. So so if you're feeling that life is dragging you back and you're feeling really sluggish, you've lost your passion and citronella will help you to find that. So start working with citronella, anointing it on the heart, breathing in this uplifting lemony scent and really allow this essential oil to bring back your appetite for life. I love using citronella essential oil as a cleansing essential oil, especially after a time where there's been a lot of sickness or a lot of darkness or heaviness or density and you're just feeling ugh, 
you're feeling dragged down. Not only will the uplifting aroma help to lift your mood and those that are around you as well, but energetically it helps to get rid of and diminish and banish all those unwanted energies. Just as it also gets rid of you know pesky little insects, it can get rid of anything else that's pesky and irritating you in your life, that's drawing you away from your joy. So use it in a little spray bottle, spritzing it around the room with a bit of pure water, or spritz it around your aura. Feel all those distract, feel the density drop to the ground, and feel all those pesky things get detracted away from you. It'll help you to get back in line with where you're really going and make sure that you are guarded, safe, and only things that support your joy, your bliss, your happiness, and the greatest good of your path come your way. Citronella essential oil is really good for a lesser known chakra, and this chakra is called the spleen chakra. Now it's on your left hand side, um, just near your lowest rib, kind of halfway between your heart chakra and your solar plexus chakra. And this is a, this energy center, it kind of vibrates with a, a lime green, so kind of a half yellow, half green kind of energy. And it's very much to do with your energy exchange. So if you feel um, that people are zapping the energy out of you, you hear of terms like energy vampires, if you feel that you're getting sapped too much, then you're probably losing too much energy through that spleen chakra. Or if you're kind of sucking other people's energy, you're probably doing that through your spleen chakra as well. By getting some, if you want to kind of protect yourself and make sure there's a fair energy exchange between you and other people, get some citronella essential oil in some uh, coconut oil, another great carrier oil, and rub it on that area there. Visualize this beautiful ball of energy that has this nice ebb and flow between you and other people to make sure there is a fair exchange. This is a really amazing way of stopping to lose your essential energy, your chi each day. If you're feeling drained around other people, then use citronella to protect your chi and protect your overall energy. When it comes to blending citronella essential oil, it blends really nicely with some of the great trees, things like eucalyptuses, firs, spruces, that type of thing. A really uplifting kind of aroma, or even your more woody ones, such as cedarwood or arborvitae. Now, if you're looking on that energetic level and we're looking at working with that spleen chakra, then I look at mixing it with a bit of sandalwood. You could use Hawaiian sandalwood, Indian sandalwood, Australian sandalwood, take a pick, really. The interesting thing about the sandalwood tree is when it gets to a certain age, it sends out roots and it actually attaches that to another tree of another species and relies on that tree for its, um, for its nutrients and to get nitrogen out of the soil and a whole range of different things. Sandalwood and citronella are very much to do with making sure we have fair energy exchange. Now, if you need to make sure that you're not losing too much, you may want to bring in some clove. Clove is very much about boundaries. Arborvitae can be very protective as well. So play around with these and see how you go. If you feel that other people are sapping your energy, citronella with a bit of arborvitae, sandalwood, um, or clove, or try combinations of them. Use that as an aura spray or anointing on your spleen chakra and see how you go. Now, have you worked with citronella essential oil and you've got an amazing blend that you have to share with us? please leave it in the comment section below so we can all give it a try. When I'm working with citronella essential oil, or any essential oil in fact, I like to take a holistic approach and bring in other gifts of nature so that I can get the most out of my essential oil. I love working with crystals and I find the crystals that really harmonize beautifully with citronella essential oil are those kind of lime green ones. So these could be crystals such as peridot, which is very good for bringing in abundance and having that dynamism. Uh, there's a bit of a rare one here, you can see I'm wearing it, called green tremolite. And this is very good for helping us to heal any relationships, especially with family in the past, deal with any dysfunction in relationships and kind of bring back a bit of a quality. Or there's this beautiful one here. This is called apple or a quartz, which is a bit of nickel fused with clear quartz as well. Really good for, again, working with that spleen chakra and all the issues we've been talking about. So if you're feeling that you're getting a bit depleted with other people, bringing one of these crystals into your life can really help to heal that as well. Now, animal-wise, the animal that I work with when I'm working with citronella is a mosquito. The mosquito has a strong attachment to citronella. And so when we look at what the... Um, 
the uh, mosquito is all about. The mosquito is very much about an exchange. You know, it relies on other people and other animals for its sustenance. But if, it, if it's around too much, it becomes pesky. So the mosquito, in order to survive and be, uh, you know, very successful in life, has to learn how to work with other people, but not bug and be pesky around other people. So as we look deeper into the lessons of mosquito, we can actually find out, okay, how can I, how can I, benefit from working with other people and gain from other people and you know get out there in the community but how can i not be how can i not, not be too much of a blood sucker too much of an energy sucker so very much teaches about this energy exchange which is really really important now astrologically citronella is associated with capricorn and capricorns are beautiful um star signs they're ruled by the planet saturn which is also linked to citronella and capricorns of course are very much about success and getting out in the world they have to be careful not to trample other people and they have to work in harmony with other people so citronella will enable you to do that but that doesn't mean only capricorns can work with citronella we all can when we want to bring in that beautiful energy of making sure that we're bringing in, uh, we're working with people in a great way, we're not being dragged down by people or experiences in life or energies around us, and that there's this real fair energy exchange. Citronella is an amazing essential oil. It doesn't just get rid of mosquitoes and other insects, so you can use it for a whole range of things. If you've worked with citronella essential oil, please tell us how you've used it by leaving a comment in the section below. Now remember, when it comes to essential oils, they're not all the same. Citronella essential oil, to get a real high quality, pure one, you're gonna get this really different aroma to those kind of cruddy old candles that you used to burning the at your local barbecue or outside get together. If you'd like to know where to get some really pristine essential oils, please, my contact details are below, drop me a line and I'll set you up and show you where, exactly where to find them. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I'm Adam Barrelay, blessed be.